This is about the size of the moon. 20 inch in diameter, this is five inches. So who knew the moon was that large? This is Mars. Sure, that could be Mars, yeah. It could be Mars, 10 inches? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's that about right, right? Oh, sure. Okay. We're gonna do uh, an experiment of how far, to this scale, if we're according to this scale, how far away the moon might be. Oh, sure, so, okay, so here, I'll give you the moon. Here, come here, come here, come here, stand right here. Okay, you now have the moon. Put it where, you, where the moon is, relative, where Earth you, is the where size. Where do you think it is? <laughs> Right there. Right about there? That's, the, that's about the right distance? Given that this is 20 inches and this is 5, you think the moon is... Right about there. Something, something like that. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Um, that is way off, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. Just start backing up. Yeah, and... Me, Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Turn, turn around while you're going. Keep going. That, that's about right. Yeah. That's about the Earth-Moon distance. Yeah. You know why? You've been lied to by textbooks that have to squeeze them both into the same page. And then the positioning of Mars... Oh, yeah, okay. So, well, you know it's got to be farther than the Moon. I'm going to really save you this effort here. A little, it'll be like a mile and a half away, which is farther away than Town Lake. So Space is empty. You know the people who say, this is a universe made for us? No, it's not. <laughs> Most of the universe is completely empty and you'd be dead within seconds if put there. If the Earth were actually this, uh, this size, uh, the International Space Station would be orbiting about a half an inch above the surface. And that dude who jumped out of a perfectly good balloon, he would have been about two millimeters above the surface of this globe. That's his edge of space jump. 